What do you give the man who's got everything? How about some very thin domed head screws? Huh, because I haven't got everything. What I've, I've been messing about, and we spoke earlier about these switches, and these switches need some nice little screws just to hold them down. And I've searched my collection of screws and nothing really does the job. However, we've jerry-rigged this switch, jury-rigged, I should say jury-rigged this switch. Uh, and what we've done, I've what I've done, I've stuck, where are we? <laughs> I've stuck the wreck of the 97 on this track. There's the wires to the isolating rail. The switch is set that away. And when we apply power, which I'm going to do, reaching down with my other hand, right, there we are, full power. Nothing happens. Fantastic. That train, that locomotive is not going anywhere. And neither's that one. Um, yeah, that's because that one doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, but it's just sitting there, not doing anything. So, let's turn the power off. Did you hear me turn it off? And don't forget, 97 runs the wrong way, so we'll set the power the wrong way just to keep her happy. And back over here, We'll flick that switch that away. Now, haha, <laughs> let's see. So that bit's live at the moment. We've parked her in where the shed will be. And then we flick the switch that way and we can do whatever we like with the power switch. I don't, can you hear that? I'm screwing the power up and down. Nothing happens. Now, this track is controlled by an isolating point. So if I flip the point that way, what should happen is this locomotive, oh, it did. Well, there's a thing. Ah, of course, that's, that's the good one, 54. Then when we flip the point that way, we can screw the power backwards and forwards and nothing happens. Now I've got to wire up this other track, but that's the idea. It allows me to have three engines sat in the shed. It allows me to bring one of them out at a time and to run it. So that's the idea. Clear as mud, eh?